Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Colorfly CDA M1P. Now there is a non-P variant which is an older model, never tried it. And yet as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Shenzhen Audio Store for sending this out to me, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, no thoughts and opinions are my own. And yes, this is another dongle duck with the 3.5 and the 4.4. It's meant to be uh, quite a powerful one to 240 milliwatts at 32 ohm on 4.4. And yeah, let's just get into it. So that's how you get a very compact box, bit of information, grey. Again, like I said before, there's a non-P version. This is the newer version. Info there, 32-bit 768 DSD 512. I don't know what these words are, but you'll find out. Some information there, colorfly.net. There's also drivers for this for anybody on Windows 10, well, below Windows 10. So here it is. The shape is as well different to the old one. So grey, feels very well built. Type C, there's a screw. Um, volume up and down, which if you press both is to change gain and press both for longer is to change filters. 3.5, 4.4, and that's it. There's a sneak peek, I've already been using this for quite a bit. After a bit of digging, because this is stuck in the bottom, going to be a user guide. Chinese and uh, in English. So there's the parameters, you can see there's uh, quite a lot. Pause if you have to. Information there. How to use it, again, but ASIO drivers, the buttons. So there's also a lot of steps, tells you what to do, what the colours are as well, basically. That's very important to say so you know what it's actually doing, to bear that in mind. Low or high, it's, it's easy to change the gain. Filters, again, like I said before. Uh, and that's it, so yeah, and obviously here's the cable, it's pretty pretty good, Oops, wait. And that's it, so yeah, see you in the next clip. So welcome to my review section of the Colorfly CDA M1P, and let's get into filters, so there's six options, you can see when you hold them both, that will flick once. It's very, it's very hard to see, but in that dot, there is the colour. It's very subtle, which I like. And when you get to the, the sixth filter, it'll flash twice. And anyway, with the filters, I didn't really notice any difference. It's really, it's really, really small, to be honest. But obviously, if you're interested in buying this, you can play with that to your heart's content. Um, same thing goes for the colours, like you saw in the instruction manual and on the website link, which obviously I'll put in the description. Um, it tells you what... The colour is actually doing, so whatever PCM you set up uh, at, or what DSD, or what gain, the colours, it'll always be in there. Obviously, it's quite subtle. Again, what I like. Um, so, power of this. So, for the 4.4, it's 240 milliwatts at 32 ohms, so it's quite a powerful one. And it's about, I think, 125, 120 or 125 at 32 ohm. So, the 3.5. I found that both units is actually more than sufficient if you obviously if you got 4.4 you're getting nearly double the milliwatts um i know she would add all with power this powered everything i have with the ease most of my testing was done with the hiddies mp145 the plain r one not a problem at all whether you use it on your phone or uh like on windows like a windows 10 pc uh, and that's it so buttons is only two so this does obviously a few jobs just volume there's a lot of steps. Gain, you just do that, and it changes the gain between high and low. And you press it again, does it? And if you do it for like two seconds, it changes the filter. Again, you'll know, because in that dot, it changes. So it'd be like flash, flash, that kind of time. Very straightforward, there's no play or pause that would have been useful, but it doesn't have it, That it is what it is. So, I've been using this with Windows 10 and my my phone, which is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. And 
this has independent volume control so with windows you plug it in with you set windows at 100 percent and this acts separately so it's sending full basically full power to the dongle and then you, you control the volume from this it's separate i prefer that for windows i don't prefer it for phones i prefer sync so before this i did the hiddies s9 pro plus that's easy to control with a, a phone or a tablet i think this is better for windows control because it's separate but yeah whatever i can get on with either i do prefer independent for windows uh, and sync volume for android devices basically uh, and that's it obviously plug and play just 32 bit up to 768 and dsd up to 512 there is drivers but you have to get it from the website and that's pretty much it so now sound what does it sound like um to me it sounds slightly smooth is the best way to describe it but it's still a very detailed uh set um yeah so it has a slightly smoother sound signature if that's probably the best way to describe it but very pleasing again no issues at all and a lot of people do like the akm sound sound but i didn't really find it as lacking or anything um overall it just sounds what what great is probably the, the best way to describe it's very i was very happy with it sounds everything seems clear layering seems seems good um yeah, just on the whole, it sounds fine. Sound stage is fine. It's all overall. It's a good sound. It's the best way to dis to describe it. Um, yeah. So power consumption is. I use this with my phone as well. Um, it seems quite efficient. I don't know the exact consumption of power, but it seems on the. Um, yeah, it seems fine. Really, I don't. I don't think it's super efficient power wise. But it seems more than I'm more than happy with it, really, to be honest. Uh, temperature, so it does get warm to the touch. Again, it's an all metal build. This is quite heavy. Nothing to share about. It's not like the Sentrance unit that actually gets hot. This just gets warm, and that's pretty much it, really. So noise floor on this set. Again, it's another one. I have no issues at all. Also, I don't know the output impedance of this unit. But, yeah, noise floor, even on my sensitive items, uh, Kiwi Ears, Orchestral Light is a good example. Not a problem at all, so the 3.5. And that's a, have a good look there. So, yeah, what do I really think of this? Overall, I do like it. It's on the smaller side, which is good. A few folks don't really know why you need, like, these things on a phone. And it's like carrying another device. I do like this for stationary use, so if you've got a PC or a laptop that's got crappy audio, I do like this, especially because it's got independent volume control. It's 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 been absolutely perfect in my use case for both, so there's been no weird drop-offs or bugs or anything like that. It works absolutely fine. To nitpick, really, would have been good to have a play pause and maybe for the filters to do anything. But yeah, it works exactly as intended. I'm very, very happy with my use. It just, it is what it says in the tin, is another kind of quote. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it, really. I'm not quite sure what to say. It does everything it's promised to do, basically. And it does it well. Um, there's a lot of volume steps as well. So yeah, I'll probably end it there. Overall, I recommend it. It does exactly what it's supposed to. Um, seems more than powerful enough, really. Um, obviously, if you've got like planar headphones that's a different thing but for if you're an oem user or you've got normal headphones you got no you'll have no problem at all with a device like this you can actually use it on your desktop as a main item if you've got nothing hard to power uh yeah just want a usb from the back of your computer obviously at least a meter long you know to and the, the, you could use this as a desktop item if you really wanted to really so yeah i'll probably end it there so yeah pretty good nothing really to complain about to be honest but if you think i've missed something please do let me know in the comments and obviously i'll answer your question and yeah thanks for watching take care see you in the next video